Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these beautiful little coils. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I finger coil my hair after a wash day. So if you'd like to see how I got my hair like this, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm starting on hair right after I wake up. So, oh, she looks matted, but all I have to do is massage my fingers through my scalp and it breaks up all the hair and separates it. Okay, so now I just wet my hair before I go in with my Olaplex number three. And this is going to be used as a pre-shampoo deep conditioning treatment. And this has really been helping with my retention, honestly. Going in with a, a uh, conditioner before a shampoo, since shampoo can be very, very stripping on my hair. And it makes it really tangled. So this step is so important. So I'm just going to go in with a shower cap and let that sit for about mm, 10 to 15 minutes. I can be impatient, so I don't let it sit too long. So... Okay, so this is how my hair looks already. It's super soft. The curls are already coming through. So now I'm going to rinse that out before I separate my hair into four sections before I shampoo. Because again, I'm just trying to avoid as much tangling as possible. So I'm just going to go in and section my hair out. I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience with all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking. Clearly a lot for me to take it, and it don't make sense. Young East African girl, you too busy fucking with your other man. I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane, take you and your mama to the motherland. I could do it, maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't- Okay, so now for conditioners, I'm gonna be using like two. One's for blonde color correcting. And the other one's going to be more for moisture. I'm going to just work those in with my fingers. And then I'm going to go behind it with my detangling brush. Every time I write these words, they become a taboo. Making sure my punctuation curve, heavy letter hits true. Living my life in the margin. Okay, so this is how my hair looks after I rinse out the conditioner. It's super easy to run my fingers through, no tangles, and it's super soft. And then now that everything's rinsed out, I'm going to go in with my Olaplex leave-in. And I'm going to let that sit. And while I let that sit, again, I'm going in with my detangling brush just to make sure that no tangles are sitting and everything's going to be easy to rinse out for us to start finger coiling. And credit to this detangling brush because look at the curls it's giving me. I have no idea what it's called. I found it at the beauty supply store. But definitely use a good detangling brush to get the best curl definition. Okay, so this is what the first half of my hair looks like after I went in 
with all my products and started finger coiling so i'm going to show you this front section since it's easier so i'm using this undefeated combo the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie and the eco styler gel um, i only use the green one really but i'm going to go in with both of those products and saturate my hair like saturate because it will soak all of that right up my hair is so dry so I just put the product in again, detangle, 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 and I'm just going to take one section, one small, small piece at a time and just twirl it around my finger. It's simple as that. Now just look how nice and springy and juicy these curls are like they're so cute and they'll stay defined like this for a good two to three days before I have to even touch anything to touch up but even when I do touch up I'll just take whatever piece is frizzy and do the same thing and just finger curl again to redefine them but these are so so cute I just have to let them dry now so to speed up the drying process, um, I just use my blow dryer, obviously, because I don't have an overhead dryer. Um, so I dry it to about like, I don't know, 70% dry. And then you'll see me going with my pick. So this is how it looks mostly dry, but not all the way dry. Um, the roots are definitely still wet, so I don't want to move my hair around too much and create too much frizz. So I go in with this metal pick and just basically pick up my roots and give it as much volume as I can while it is still wet. Um, the rest of the volume is probably just going to come after it dries and gets frizzy, but this is just what I do for like first day since I was still going out the house this day. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. and I know you taste this a little bit, mm, But yeah, that's basically all I do for the most defined curls ever. It's not technically a wash and go, but it takes me a while, but it's definitely worth it. I'd say it's my most complimented hairstyle, so that's basically it. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in my next one.